The Rata's Island Lizard is an extinct subspecies of Lilford's Wall Lizard that once lived on Rata's Island, a tiny, rocky island in the Bay of Mayan in Menorca. But Rata's Island, which was its habitat, was destroyed when Port Mayan was rebuilt. The last sign of this subspecies was in 1950 and is presumed extinct. Four specimens of this European lizard are conserved in museum collections. The pink-headed duck is a large diving duck that was once found in parts of the Gangetic Plains of India and in the riverine swamps of Myanmar but feared extinct since the 1950s. Numerous searches have failed to provide any proof of continued existence. It has been suggested that it may exist in the inaccessible swamp regions of northern Myanmar. The male pink-headed duck is unmistakable when a good view is had. Both sexes are 43 centimeters and long build with long necks and peaked heads. The male has a pink bill, head and neck while the female has a pale pinkish head and neck with a paler bill. The reason for its disappearance was probably habitat destruction. It is not known why it was always considered rare, but the rarity is believed to be genuine as its erstwhile habitat was frequently scoured by hunters in colonial times. The pink-headed duck was much sought after by hunters and later as an ornamental bird, mainly because of its unusual plumage. Like most diving ducks, it was not considered good eating, which should facilitate the survival of any remnant birds. Lesser bilby have long fur with a silky texture, the species have long tails and mobile ears that resemble those of a common rabbit, they are burrowing animals that have long and narrow muzzles. Was described as aggressive and tenacious. Headley Finlayson wrote that this animal was, fierce and intractable, and repulsed the most tactful attempts to handle them by repeated savage snapping bites and harsh hissing sounds. The decline in numbers of the lesser bilby and ultimately its extinction was attributed to several different factors. The introductions of foreign predators like the domestic cat and fox, being hunted for food by indigenous Australians, competition with rabbits for food, changes in the fire regime and the degradation of habitat have all been blamed for the extinction of this species. The vegetation in the main part of its range remained intact, with little evidence of cattle or rabbit grazing and point to cats and foxes as the most likely cause of the extinction of the lesser bilby. The Queen of Sheba's gazelle is an extinct species of gazelle. It was found on the mountains and hillsides in Yemen, but none have been sighted since 1951, when five specimens were collected in mountains near Taiz, where it was reportedly common at the time. Surveys in the area of their former occurrence have failed to find any sign of its presence. In 1985, a photograph of gazelles was taken in a private collection, Al Wabra Wildlife Farm, in Qatar. Zoologist Colin Groves claims these could possibly be surviving Queen of Sheba's gazelles. It is not confirmed whether these animals truly belong to this species. The cause of extinction is still uncertain. The Caribbean monk seal's main predators were sharks and humans. Overhunting of the seals for oil, and overfishing of their food sources, are the established reasons for the seal's extinction. The last confirmed sighting of the Caribbean monk seal was in 1952. Like other true seals, it was sluggish on land. Its lack of fear of humans, and an unaggressive, curious nature was taken advantage of by human hunters. The final extinction of the Caribbean monk seal was triggered by two main factors. The most visible factor contributing to the Caribbean monk seal's demise was the non-stop hunting and killing of the seals in the 18th and 19th centuries to obtain the oil held within their blubber. 
the insatiable demand for seal products in the Caribbean encouraged hunters to slaughter the Caribbean monk seals by the hundreds. The Caribbean monk seals' docile nature and lack of flight instinct in the presence of humans made it very easy for anyone to kill them. The second factor was the overfishing of the reefs that sustained the Caribbean monk seal population. With no fish or mollusks to feed on, the seals that were not killed by hunters for oil died of starvation or did not reproduce as a result of an absence of food. The Makira woodhen is a species of bird in the family Rallidae. It is endemic to the Solomon Islands. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forest and subtropical or tropical moist montane forest. It is critically endangered and sometimes considered extinct from habitat loss and predation by feral cats. The last recorded sighting was in 1953. The Aline Island Cloudrunner is a critically endangered cloud. Rat from Aline Island in the Philippines. It is a fluffy-coated, bushy-tailed rat and may have emerged from tree hollows at night to feed on fruits and leaves. It is known from one specimen, collected on April 1953. The island's forests have been destroyed by human activity. The Little Swan Island Hutia is an extinct species of rodent that lived on the Swan Islands, off northeastern Honduras in the Caribbean. It was a slow-moving, guinea pig-like rodent and probably emerged from caves and limestone crevices to forage on bark, small twigs and leaves. It may have been a subspecies of the Jamaican Hutia, whose ancestors were carried to the island from Jamaica, 5,000 years ago. It was fairly common in the early 20th century, but disappeared after a severe hurricane in 1955, followed by the introduction of house cats to the island. Goff's southeastern pocket gopher was a pocket gopher endemic to Brevard County in Florida. The last sightings recorded were in 1955. They burrowed and lived mostly underground eating mainly underground vegetation. Their habitat was temperate desert and sandy coastline. Due to human population growth and development of its habitat, this gopher is now extinct. Imperial woodpecker are all black except for the inner primaries, which are white-tipped, the white secondaries, and a white scapular stripe which, unlike the ivory-billed woodpecker, does not extend onto the neck. The female is similar, but her crest is all black and recurved at the top, lacking any red. Much larger than any other sympatric woodpecker, it is the only woodpecker in the area with solid black underparts. Its voice is reportedly toy trumpet-like. It prefers open montane forests usually between 2,100 and 2,700 meters above sea level. It feeds mainly within bark scaled from dead pine trees and feeding on the insect larvae found underneath. There are many reports of more than four individuals, and this grouping behavior may be related to its foraging specialization. The last confirmed record was from Durango in 1956, and the species is very likely now extinct. If they have gone extinct, it would have been due to habitat destruction and fragmentation combined with hunting. These factors are the reason why the species has not been seen in over 60 years, although there have been local reports of sightings.
Researchers believe that their decline was also accelerated by active eradication campaigns conducted by logging interests, by overhunting. Ascension Crake is an extinct flightless bird that previously lived on Ascension Island in the South Atlantic Ocean. Like many other flightless birds on isolated islands, it was a rail. The bird was endemic to the island. Numerous subfossil bones of the bird have been found in deposits at the base of vertical fumaroles. It most likely lived in the near desert areas of the island and primarily ate sooty tern eggs. It is probable that it became extinct after rats were introduced to the island in the 18th century, but it may have survived until the introduction of feral cats in 1815. The Scioto mad tom was a species of fish in the family Ictoloridae. It is listed as extinct. It has likely been entirely or functionally extinct since 1957 given the lack of records since that year. This fish was endemic to Ohio in the United States. Only one population was ever known. It was located in Big Darby Creek, a tributary of the Scioto River. Eighteen specimens were collected, all at one riffle in this creek, an area called Troutman's Riffle. It has not been seen since 1957.